Dennis. Hello. How has evolved your style over the years, for your point of view? My point of view is very is very weird because I, I mean, my st I, sh I can't say my style. My sound is uh, is based upon how I feel. You know, the feel of, you know from what guys I've heard play in the past, like Billy Connolly, Tony Williams, Jackie Jeanette, uh, David Garbaldi, Steve Gabb, and, and even Vinny. Um, and, and there's a new guy that, you know, that I've really, really been checking out, his name's Alessandro. <laughs> He's sitting right there. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I heard his CD today, you know, it's really knocked out by that too, so. I'm a big fan of the drums, but I mean, style, I, I, I mean, it all depends on when you're talking about style. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, your, I don't know, maybe your technique or your... Technique. Technically or musically. Not well, technique, you know, basically... Phrasing. Yeah, technique and phrasing is based, based off of, the technique is based off of, off of Billy Cobham and, and what I learned from Billy and what I learned from uh, Buddy Rich, mm -hmm. where I'm practicing on pillows and things like that. Yeah. Um, and listening to, you know, the way Billy or, or Buddy would play, you know, with the, with the speed and the power and the finesse that they use, you know, how they hit the drum, where they hit the drum, you know, they hit the drum like 50% head, 50% rim, yeah. to give it a snap sound when he wanted to. But for me, it's like, uh, I mean, Buddy uses it sometimes, but Billy used it a lot. I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. Phrasing, it all depends on what I'm hearing at the moment, mm. you know. Um, you know, I'm always thinking of melodies when I play, uh, and even when I'm playing with another band, I'll, I'll hear a melody of some other band thing, and I'll go with that. Okay. You know, like for instance, like my favorite thing is the, the melody of uh, um, Miles Out by uh, John McLaughlin, mm -hmm. um, or uh, um, oh, Jesus, what was that record? The record's called Birds of Fire. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of tunes on it, on that, that record, that really, really kills me. And then sometimes I hear Col uh, Coltrane. Yeah. Or sometimes I hear Holdsworth, you know. And sometimes I hear a Beatles song. It hits me yeah. and I just go. <laughs> and and the, the, the crazy thing is, you know, I can hear these things and other people, I hear these things in, in other songs that have nothing to do with those songs at the yeah. moment. And uh, when I take drum solos, that's what comes out. Which musical situation has given, given you more problems for the difficulty of the music or for the style of the music you had to play? I would say Latin music. Oh. Latin music. I, I mean, because I'm a, I mean, I'm a perfectionist. And if I can't get it right, then I don't bother with it at all unless somebody asked me to do it. Now, for instance, you know, I played on some Steve Kahn records where, mm -hmm. you know, it's Latin flavor. Yeah. And I can do that, yeah. you know, but, uh, you know, to master it, you know, it's a difference when you hear, you know, like you hear a guy who's, who studied a little bit of it versus a guy who lived and breathed. Yeah, that kind you of You know, that kind of music. Of yeah, who, who lived in Cuba. Yeah. You know, uh, like Horacio. Horacio Hernandez is, I mean, you know, that's, that's God of, you know, Chiquito, you know, those guys are gods of, of yeah. that stuff. Um, there's a guy who lives here in Europe, his name is Anasio ba An Anasio Laboa. Oh, okay. Boa? Laboa? He plays with Gonzalo sometimes. Oh, okay. And he's another one, you know. Um, you know, when you hear those guys do it, you go like, oh, I'm bothered. <laughs> But you know, you, you, you get somebody like Steve Gadd, you know, who, who can you know, pretty much handle it. You know. Somehow he, he, uh, he's got a, handle, a good handle on things when it comes to that style of music. Yeah. And um, yeah, can you mention three records that you think that every drummer, every musician in general should know? You should, you should know like more uh, different styles of music other than what you, you know, if you're a rock drummer, you should learn, you know, fusion, jazz, pop, you know, uh, 
I mean, everything is out there. I look at music as like walking into a music store, uh, walking into a grocery store. When you walk into a grocery store, you know, you know, if you like to eat, you like to, if you like uh, vegetables, you know, you go to the ve vegetable section. If you like meat or the produce, you go to those sections. If you like fish, you go to that, and you know, salads. Uh, you know, so you know, you walk in, you go, I'll go out, I'll, you know, take a little bit of this salads, you know, and then I'll go over and get some some chicken or some fish, and you know, all these different things. Music is like that for me. Yeah. You know, because there's all these different styles of things mm -hmm. out there, and when you shut your ears off to those styles of those styles of things or those styles of music, you don't grow. I think one one thing that that uh, kept my career going is because I. I didn't master all those styles of music, but at least I understand them, and I can play. I like to say hi to HighlightDrums.com. My name is Dennis Chambers, and you should check this book out. It's pretty serious. It's from a friend of mine who's promoting this tour, and I'm not saying this because he's promoting the tour, but he's a phenomenal drummer as well. Go out and buy it. I like to say hi to HighlightDrums.com.